Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day five of the Leak Code Daily Challenge on April. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and I don't know, everything. Uh, I'm just walking around in New York here in... Well, I'm blanking out the name, but I'm in a park. Uh, the park that I go to every day and I'm forgetting the name. But in any case, um, yeah, I'm, I'm here setting up some video. Uh, setting some up for the next video. So definitely uh, if you haven't checked out my other channel uh, Check that out and hopefully next week we'll go over thing which is something that I get asked a lot which is What do I do when I see a problem that I have or I cannot solve? What do I do, right? Well to find out well hit the subscribe button to that channel too. Anyway, all right, let's take a look at today's problem. Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day five of the Leak Code Daily Challenge. Uh, yeah, I forgot that at the intro already. So I always said that during the intro. But in any case, let's take a, take a look at today's form, 1544, make the string great. Now, as I said, you know, be sure to uh, subscribe to the other channel. I'll have a next video up uh, early next week as a weekly cadence kind of thing. So hopefully that's good. All right, this is a easy problem they say, so let's let's hope it actually is for me. Given an S, uh, given a string S of lower and uppercase English letters, a good string is a string that doesn't have two adjacent characters, S of I and S of I plus one, where I is this number. Yeah, okay, fine. Same number, but uppercase. Okay. <clears throat> and to make the string good, you can choose two adjacent um, okay, oh, or oh, vice versa. I was going to say maybe them. And we moved them. You can keep doing this until the string is good. Okay. Uh, this is actually a very standard stack problem. Um, what is it? What am I thinking of? Because I feel like this is a very. Um, like, in, in if you. Uh, if anyone has taken commutational theory or theory of commutation, um, there is something about languages, right? And I, it's been too long for me to kind of remember it, uh, but there, there is this idea of regular language, but even before that is the comp context-free language, right? So I'm, I might be making some of this up and I may be saying things that are way incorrect and wrong because like I said, I, I've taken this class maybe 20 years ago and so what, what I'm telling you is off my head from that class, right? So yeah, so you have this context-free language and basically this idea is ways, you know, you want to read more into it, just that another way, is, another way to say this is that this can be recognized as a context-free language, right? Well, my think of something else. I mean, it's, it's not the context. I don't remember if there is one before that that I remember but anyway I would say maybe I need to study up a little bit on, on computational theory uh, it is very interesting in, in terms of like how everything kind of fits together but it applies to this problem in the way that like I said be and one of the things that about context free languages is that hmm, well maybe I made that up But it is that I think you can use use um, stacks to um, to implement the the idea of our finite state automata. Um, like I said, maybe I'm making all this up. Just forget everything I said. My apologies, and yeah, maybe I'll have to study up. But it is very interesting. It's just that, like I said, it's been decades, so I don't know. Uh, all right, let's, let's let's take a look. So yeah, so now we have a stack, right? And then now for C and S, if or well, we always just push C maybe into onto the stack, and then now we can look at the last two characters. And so if uh, if well, if length of stack is greater than or equal to two, and the top of the stack is not equal to the 
second top of the stack, I guess. I mean, I think it, to be more precise, you're supposed to pop it twice and compare them because I, you're not supposed to be able to access too deep on the stack, I guess. But, you, you know, I'm just being a little bit lazy. <laughs> and uh, so if they're not the same, but if, if, if the lower case of them is the same, or, and by lower, you can also convert it to, to, to uppercase. The idea there is just to normalize the characters to the same thing, because after you lower case both of them, they'll be the same. And so, but if they're the same, but not before we do the normalization, that means that one of them is upper and the other is lower, right? So then in that case, we can do stack that pop, stack that pop, and we always want to remove because it will just be bad anyway. So yeah, and then now after all that, we can and just return the string itself or the stack as a string, I believe. Hopefully I didn't mess it up, but yeah. All right, let's give it some hit. And that's pretty much it. 1466 day streak. Um, this is going to be linear time because there's a for loop of linear. You, you could say there are some other stuff, but all this is all one, right? This is all one, all these are all one, and even this if statement is all one. And this is another linear time to kind of recreate the string. So, I mean, it's a simple problem, so I don't have much to say. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have a good link to the stuff around finite state autonomy. It's just been so long that I feel like maybe I should do a review uh, so that I could not make a fool out of myself in, in future videos. But that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.